Welcome back to Stamping at the Warren and I'm Kim Tolton and today I'm sharing another sneak peek from the upcoming uh, spring summer seasonal catalogue um, from Stamping Up and the stamp set that I'm, well this is the card and lots of glitter look lots of white space oh my stamp set's just fallen on the floor so lots of white space and lots of glitter and shimmer there you go right I'm going to pick up my stamp set there we go back right there we go <laughs> it just slid off the side of my table so there we go first sight is the name of the stamp set um, can be used for mother and lover and anybody that you love really um, but I particularly like the I believe in love at first sight because that reminds me of me and my husband um, and also the mother one um, is just beautiful and then there's kindred spirits and friends so a really lovely stamp set to use so I've gone as I say kept it very very simple very clean um, anyone can make this it all it involves is a bit of stamping and a bit of um, bit of stamping bit of die cutting and that's it really bit of embellishment so pop that there and you need to start off by making your card base I've pre-trimmed everything to keep time down um, so this is your card base made from thicker whisper white cardstock measuring 21 centimeters by 14.8 centimeters and then this long side you score down the middle at 10.5 centimeters you then want to fold and burnish it so make sure that the unsightly ridged piece is inside the card and to burnish you take a bone folder and you rub it firmly along that fold a couple of times um, that stops the cardstock from fracturing, uh, fracturing along the spine um, and it just gives a nicer finish and it lays flat but it also stands up nicely. So we're going to mat, it's all going to be white on white on white so we're going to mat onto a piece of whisper white cardstock measuring 14.4 centimetres by 10.1 centimetres um, and we're going to be stamping on this so I'm therefore going to pop my card base to one side the last thing you ever want is to end up with ink contaminating your cardstock and then you've either got to turn over and start again or start again completely so I'm starting with the flourish um, and this is what really attracted me to ordering this stamp set on my pre-order which is a luxury you get as a stamping up demonstrator so we get to to play um, order and play before the stamp sets um, and other products go live in a new catalogue so it's a real perk and I'm using Lost Lagoon ink which is from the 2015 to 16 in colours and I'm just doing two flourishes in one in opposite corners there and I have inked up each time sometimes I use second and third generation stamping but I wanted the uh, that nice intense color on this um, the colors do lighten a little bit as it dries so just pop that over there and then onto a scrap piece of whisper white cards cardstock you're going to scent stamp oh Dear, my numb tongue is really playing me up today you're then going to stamp using the I believe in love at first sight and I'm using soft suede for that it's a beautiful color and it has an almost gold look to it when it dries it's really lovely and if you haven't got gold it's a great um, substitute for gold so straight down straight back up I've contaminated it down there so I'm going to turn over and try again on the other side 
it's probably because it's a new stamp and I've not used it before um, and you do have to season your stamp so you do need to stamp them three or four times before the new rubber will ink up properly there you go that's better happy with that one now here comes the pleasure of this new setup is because I can get my big shot up here yay <laughs> it gets right in shots look so the sandwich that we're using is the magnetic platform if you don't have a magnetic platform I would urge you to invest in one it is worth it if you haven't got one then just use your multi-purpose platform you might need to use um, post-it notes or low-tack um, masking tape just to hold the um, dies in place so you have your magnetic plate your magnetic platform acrylic plate then you put on your cardstock now the dies that I'm using are from the lots of labels and you get if I look on oh, it's on the packaging stupid me I've taken the packaging out so you get seven dies in this particular pack I'm just going to take out the die that best fits my sentiment and what you're seeing there is what happens sometimes now I always put my dies back before I lose any which is quite easy what can happen because this base magnetic platform is made from lots of different magnets and if you haven't got completely flat cutting blades like me I do like to run mine into the ground before I have a new set I've always got a new set in but the first time you use it they they look used and so I just use mine so there you can see the difference because I've turned the cutting plate over that is now having a really good ma magnetic hold and you then put so the main thing with this is the cutting blades are down so your cardstock is on then your cutting blades facing down over the sentiment and then your second cutting blade goes on and straight through your big shot I always go one way and those clicks are completely normal they're telling you where the edges of the card are going over the die so I just move my big shot out so nice to be able to say that because it means I don't have to keep turning the camera off and on which is much easier for me when it comes to editing right so bring these bits in so you've got your sentiment and you've got this stamped piece here next comes this delightful glitter um, ribbon and this is pool party so although we've used Lost Lagoon look at how well that coordinates so this is how I do when I'm just doing a strip of ribbon I cut a piece that's just a little bit longer than the card I'm wrapping it round just remembered I need to put that little die away otherwise it'll go wandering and then I'll spend ages looking for it and then using a piece of tape and tear you're going to run or oh, tear and tape isn't it yes tear and tape always getting it the wrong way around and then just run that all the way down giving it a good press and then just peel back the top backing paper which is going to be difficult to do because I lost all my nails over Christmas that's not good is it I've got one long finger now left right there you go if it comes and I am going to put this underneath that top flourish now I use grid paper you can purchase it from Stumping Up 
you just go onto my website put it on straight and if you're using grid paper it does help you to line things up straight you get loads of this big thick stack that comes and I just work my way down so that's your ribbon on and then you want your sentiment on so I've used stamping dimensionals for this one in each corner take the backing off sorry my little bins there keep reaching across and then your sentiment goes on here wherever you want it to be and stamping dimensionals again just to mount it onto the card base I just think it gives some added lift um, on a card one two three one two three and four Need a fourth one and this week I have my wood burner being fitted in here I can't wait. Not that we've really had cold weather, have we? Um, sometimes if I'm film filming in the evenings, it gets a bit nippy out here. And then the condensation starts, and I've been relying on a Calagas heater, which causes terrible problems with condensation. And um, I end up having to oil my punches because they stop working properly because they're just so damp. Um, yeah, so it, that will get rid of that because it will be a dry heat in here which will be beautiful and much more comfortable for me and my customers when they come to classes and that goes down on there and that is your card made how quick was that it was fab wasn't it 12 minutes look um, and that's with me waffling so the full tutorial will go live on my blog the same time as it goes live on YouTube at www.stampingatthewarren.blogspot.co.uk and you will get a full tutorial there. You've also got all of my social media accounts listed in the show more information below. Um, if you would like to follow my community board on Pinterest I will then, providing I can see that there's evidence of you being a crafter, um, I will send you an invitation to join the board and then you can start pinning your own images. I don't mind if it's non-stamping up, if it is stamping up, if you're not a demonstrator, if you are a demonstrator, it's just a group forum for everybody to come together and share their ideas in one place. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so I look forward to hearing from you. I always enjoy hearing from everybody. So do share your ideas and uh, I will speak to you again tomorrow. That's it for today. Ta-ta for now.